go check it out. Hey guys, just riding along the Metolius River. This whole river just comes out of the earth. It's a big spring, but we are going fly fishing. And our guest is Gracie, AKA Amazing Gracie. So in this river, there are rainbow trout, bull trout, and whitefish. And we are going to target those first two. The fish in this river are naturally reproducing, which is incredible. It is fly fishing only, catch and release only. So there is a chance to catch a trophy rainbow trout or bull trout. We've seen them. We just have to find the right one willing to connect. So stay tuned. We started the day by heading downriver of our campsite. The river was fast and challenging, so we struggled to find a decent spot to fish. This bend looked promising, and after riding past so much river, we gave it a try. Big one on, or? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, that is a giant log. Yeah, that's uh, that's fish sticks. That's yeah. <laughs> you guys want to check yeah, it out here? Walk down if you want. Oh, yeah. it's nice. Let's do it. Drop in. Think they're going to be fish here? I think for sure there's fish here. Can you guarantee it? That they're fishy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Are we gonna get one? <laughs> it's <This is> intense. <laughs> very chilly, huh? Yeah. If you snag, you're gonna lose your fly. Yeah. It's really unstable to stand there, so I don't yeah. think it's safe. This is tough fishing. Yeah, it's really tough fishing. After lunch and some snacks, I made us some yerba mate, a habit which I picked up on tour in Patagonia. Traditional yerba mate is served in a gourd called the mate. This mate is adorned by a trucha or trout, which was hand carved in Bariloche, Argentina. The yerba is a tea which is saturated and then sipped through a special straw called a bambisha. The person who is in charge, the of, the who is in charge of the takes mate takes the first drink yeah, yeah, to make mate. sure that the temperature of the water is correct. They then pass it in a clockwise rotation around the group. Yerba mate is high in caffeine and a great way to sit around and socialize and talk about fishing. Yummy. At this point, we thought it was time to head up river to check out the Wizard Falls hatchery and try for better fishing during the afternoon hatch. The 
let's have a contest see who's fastest on the draw. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> We go check out the fish hat tree. Oh, yeah. What do we find out? A reading of the history of the hat tree. Don't have simple change. Do you take Venmo? I just gotta. I hope they just go nuts. Oh, they will. Believe Which me. ones are you going to feed? Ones bigger than this. <laughs> I want to feed the medium ones. The ones in that second tank seem like friendly ones. Okay. Real work is beginning. Yum yum. Nice. Are you ready? These guys are nuts. Well, we found what we need to be using for bait. Can we get a pellet pattern fly? being a little photogenic. I'm just hiking along the river here and it's pretty rugged rough going there's lots of brush and that's always a that's always the pain with the long fly fishing rod is getting through the really dense underbrush with this you can collapse it walk up to shore and then extend the rod and it's great I'm gonna put uh, one of these copper johns on because we don't know what they're right. eating on, what, what's emerging. You see them? Yeah.
perfect match. Perfect match. Good work. <laughs> They're eating nymphs? They're going nuts. They're eating them as they're coming up, you're saying? Heck yeah. The dropper being the small body. Yeah. Okay, I would like to. Oh my god, my heart is literally like I'm like shaking. <laughs> Whenever I cut the tag end off, I always do it over my back so that it falls into my back. Nice. seen some bug life hitting the water and we also got some intel from other people saying that around two o'clock there's a hatch um, and that's when a bunch of top water action starts so hope we get in some. Fly, they don't want it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so insane. They're popping. Here, let's go back. They're popping. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The fish. <laughs> Dude, they're hitting all over. Oh Dude, God. they're hitting all over. This is insane right now. I'm shaking. Oh my God. I'm shaking. So, this is, there's this little shell. It's game time. And then it just drops off into deep water. And the, there's a catch happening right now. And the fish just turned on as so soon as you started fishing. Yeah. That's why. So why? <sighs> we need to imitate right there. Mm -hmm. Big ol' wings. I think that's it. Uh-huh. I hope this works. Oh. Money. Eat that it. Is the spot. Eat it. Oh my god, dude, that's money. Ugh. <sighs> Oh my god. Woo! Nice. Oh no. Heck yeah. Do you want, do you want uh, me to do that? Yeah, sure. Good job. What a gorgeous fish. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> That's what we came for. Yeah, it is. My heart is racing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my baby. Oh my gosh. Oh. Good job. Let's do it again. Yeah. Oh, they're eating right next to you. They see it. I know. They, they see it. Good job, dude. Such cold water is crazy. <laughs> Good job, guys. Nice. I was like getting 
up ahead of them trying to swing it in front of them. Yeah. But because they're so close to the shore, I couldn't really see the fish. I was just swinging it into where I thought that they were. And we moved from here like up four or five times and then finally I felt something and I was like, yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> it's so cool. Good job. Thank you. He looked at it, yeah, went and checked it out. I was like, oh. Oh my gosh. Just had a fish chase for like 10, like five seconds, just chasing. Oh, I freaked out, got buck fever bad. Oh, oh, there's this one, there's this one. Coming up here, look, he's right below you. <laughs> he just said it's so hard to fish for out of water. <gasps> nice dad. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you're so good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye little friend. Bye. work. High five. Good job. <laughs> That was a good last cast. Yeah, two yes, fish. <laughs> two last fish. cast. <laughs> two I have fish. a four hour drive today. Still. <laughs> oh, man. After that rush of fish, we pedaled back in the dark of the woods, said our goodbyes, and started thinking about the next trip. I've had so much fun the last couple days, like seriously. It's been really good. Yeah, thank Bye. You so much for all your bike help. And... Hey, thank yeah, you for, for guiding, us. putting us on the fish. Yes. Bye. Loman Gravel Society is chartered by Old Man Mountain and Robert Axel Project, maker of the most versatile racks and finest through axles available. We are patroned by NOG, lighting up the night for over 20 years, rare gear, telescoping fly rods that are always ready. Additional support comes from Sugar Wheel Works, 1UP USA, Kona Bicycles, Caravel Tires, and Carefree Camper Co. I've fished for schnauzers before. <laughs> The dog? Yeah, it's so fun with a big mus musky rod. You just cast out their toy and then fight them all the way in. <laughs> yeah, they fight pretty hard. <laughs> They're really good fighters.